Does your garage door leak? Do you get water that comes in under the garage door when it rains? If so, you can put a stop to that with a simple, effective, and easy to install option. I give you the garage door threshold strip. Take a look at this thing. I don't know if you can see it. Essentially, it is just a ridge of rubber, a rubber ridge. Stick around and watch this episode of Northern Outlier and learn how to install this strip. First of all, hit that like button, hit subscribe down below, stay tuned and enjoy. So just a little backstory, on March 6th of this year, I realized the Dream Garage was not so waterproof. I did a video on the Great Flood, which I'll post here, but essentially many nights were spent out here sucking up water with a shop vac, and many nights were spent pondering my next steps. For those next steps, I have devised a four-step surefire plan to ensure that this garage is completely waterproof. One of those steps is this garage door threshold seal. This is simple, effective, and cheap. It's about $30 to $40 on Amazon for about 12 feet. Essentially, it's just a ridge of rubber. It's about a half inch in the middle. Use construction adhesive to stick it down to the concrete um, and that just seals out the water. I used it on my old shed, completely stopped the leak under the garage door on that shed. So I went with the same thing, I'm going to do one on each door, um, but again, these things are awesome um, and, and super cheap and effective. So in order to install this, you're going to need a few tools, nothing crazy, um, obviously your your strip, your rubber strip, um, construction adhesive. I like using this stuff, uh, LePage PL Premium. Um, Look pretty good. Caulking gun, uh, a box cutter, X-Acto knife um, for cutting the rubber, and just something to kind of mark your edges with. Um, I'll probably grab a Sharpie too, because we'll be drawing a line on the concrete uh, to get that placement of the strip. So your first step is to measure from either side to the back of the track for the garage door. Because that piece of rubber, we're going to try to get it in as tight as possible. So I'm at 135 and a half inches. So not quite 11 and a half feet. Essentially what you want is you want that yellow strip just on the, basically on the inside of the door. You want the rubber piece on the bottom of the door to kind of sit just in front of that yellow line. So, and I can show a close up of exactly how it's oriented, um, the strip, the rubber threshold seal itself. Um, but yeah, that yellow line, you want to keep that kind of behind the, the door. Um, in terms of the tracks, we're going to cut out, we're going to do some nifty little kind of cutting um, in order to fit that rubber piece kind of just on the inside of that, uh, that track. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to make a few marks and then kind of cut that out. So once you have the strip cut and in place, um, I used a laser level actually to just to shoot a line to get it as straight as possible. Now what I'm going to do is take a sharpie and mark either side of the strip. Um, and then I know where it's going to be placed and then I can put down the adhesive and uh, stick it down.
So I ended up getting that side done. It's set. Um, I let it sit for 24 hours. I put some weight on it to kind of hold it down. Um, super solid. Construction adhesive is great. Now I'm starting on the other side. So probably just walk through it quickly. So first thing, take a measurement from the outside of one track to the outside of the next track. Cut that. And then we'll do like in the fine tune cutting where it's going to fit kind of around the track. So as you can see, I put some weight on it. I put my weights, I put my car jack, just, just weight on it to keep it down. Uh, I'd recommend doing the same. Let it sit for about 24 hours. Now it's super solid. So I have two thresholds, one under either door now. No water's gonna be coming in under those doors. If you have the same problem, I would do the same. Go out on Amazon, um, I'll put the link to it down below. It is 30 to $40 for 12 feet. And you know what, super simple to do. You can do it yourself. Keep your garage dry. So there you have it, folks. I hope you like the video. Again, if you've got water coming under your garage door, install these strips. It'll make a world of difference. Now go ahead, hit that like button. Hit subscribe down below. Really helps out the channel. And we'll see you next time. Thank you, guys.